Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And every once in a while I say yes to a product for review that has nothing to do with anything tactical, outdoors, bushcraft, anything like that. This is a back and neck massager. And I was like, they reached this company reached out to me and I was like, yeah, yeah, I do want to review that thing. So I'm going to talk about this thing. If you have no interest in neck back massagers, cool, you don't have to watch the video. But we're looking at $29.99 for this thing. And I could probably get a discount for you as well. And I'll put a link in the description section if I can do that. But this thing is pretty slick. So for 30 bucks, neck back massager, kind of cool. So let me give you some of the details and then I'll show you what it looks like in use. And then you can decide if this might be something to add to your lifestyle, to add a little peace and relaxing and yeah, just general comfort into your life. All right, so this is coming to us from the Careboda store. And this is the user manual. It just says on the front, 3D rotating shiatsu neck massager. Here's basically how it works, right? So first thing off, first thing right off the bat, you get a, uh, ch a charger or basically a power source for your car. So not when you're driving, but if someone else is driving, you can use this thing to just, you know, relax and whatnot. I have this plugged in uh, in the wall down below the uh, desk over there. You got your standard, you know, plug that you're going to attach to the bottom section down here at the base of the uh, massager goes in like that. Now we got power, right? So now I can hit this button and turn on the power and you can already see it doing this thing right there. Hit it again, it goes off. So we've got levels of intensity. Let me show you a couple things, right? So power on, this is gonna put it in the opposite direction. So it's gonna like massage this way. If you click it, it's gonna massage this way. Then we have levels of intensity here so a little bit slower, a little bit faster, medium, slower, faster, medium, we'll go to slower. And then this right here is going to add in the heat to the, uh, to the massage process. All right, so you basically put it on and you can see it's kind of elevated off my neck there. What you're going to do is you got these little loops. You're going to run your hand through the loop. And at first I was like, well, what does that have to do with anything? But let me readjust the camera down here. When you're doing that, if you put put a lot of pressure forward, it's really gonna work those things into your into your back, your neck, whatever. If you ease up a little bit or you kind of let it fall back, then obviously it's gonna be pressing less hard into your back. So you may wanna really work the muscles or maybe just a little bit more gentle. The thing about this is the way it's set up, I can run this up high so it's working kind of on the top of my shoulders and into my neck. I can run it down a little bit, now, bit, now it's more kind of on the top of my scapula. I can run it down even further. Now it's like right in the middle of my scapula. Man, as soon as I do that, I can feel a knot on this side. You can run it down further so it's even on your back. If you want to stand up, you can basically rework it so the art your arms go down in, and you can have it all the way down on your lower back. So really, any way you want to do it, um, you can put it on your leg if you wanted to, and just kind of like push, basically put it on your leg, and then pull down on these because you don't want to have your arms like all the way down at your feet. But you can take it off and put it like this, like on your quad. I'll show you real quick here, right? On your quad like that and just hold these down or lift up a little bit, you know, if you don't want as much pressure. Um, so anyhow, so that's, that's your, those are your options basically. So I'm going to hit the power button and you can see uh, through the, through the crack there. So I have tended to run this a little bit lower on my neck because I find that when it's like up really high on my neck, just for my size, it kind of works into my spine in a way I don't like. But yeah, I mean, this thing, it really, like when I first put it on my back, I was like, ooh, that's, that's a little tender. So I'm wearing a sweatshirt because um, I was wearing a sweatshirt today, but also I do find if you wear a sweatshirt, it's a little bit more comfortable right up against like your skin or right through a uh, t-shirt is a little bit, it could just be a little bit too intense for me at this point. So, so this is working sort of toward the middle of my back. Now, if I want to put it down a little bit lower, yeah, that's definitely working. I mean, I'll say right now, right there, rotating right now. Oh, that's where it really, really works. The muscle kind of painful. So, and not in a bad way, painful, but just like, you know, when you got muscle tension, that's what happens. So, Power back on. Let's see. We're gonna go up to the highest level intensity. And it's not, it doesn't push harder, but it actually rotates more quickly. So, yeah, I mean, it is, the first time I put it on, I was like, ooh, that's kind of intense. But it is definitely like somebody's, you know, working their, their knuckles 
into your back as they massage, whether it's hard or soft, however you want it, you can put more or less pressure on it, but it definitely feels like somebody's back there and actually, uh, you know, really working on you. Let me show you real quick with the uh, guidebook here or the instruction manual. It is in a couple different languages, but you can see all these different places that you can put it, put it. So back, hips, legs, neck, and shoulders are the five options. Obviously, you could probably put it on any, you could put it on your ankles if you wanted, <laughs> wanted to or your foot, but it's built for, you know, those, those five areas. One additional thing I'll say about the heating option is that when you, uh, shift in directions again now here, when you press it, it's, it looks almost like it lights up, but I was looking at it kind of like, you know, in the darkness underneath my hand and it doesn't light up. So the only way to know if the heating is the heating option on is you have to actually put it on and then like take your hand off and feel it and be like, oh yeah, that's warm. Or if it heats up enough that you can actually feel it, you know, through your sweatshirt or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the website here, uh, 29 bucks. Um, it's 15.75 by 7.48 by 6.3. It's a basic item. It's not like a, you know, a $10,000 item. It's not like buying a massage chair or something like that, but man, just a little extra, you know, somebody working on your muscles at the end of the day, after you've done a bunch of stuff, that's really kind of a nice thing. So this will go into our, uh, into our medicine cabinet, you know, or our, our closet where we keep like the blood pressure, um, gauge to see what people's blood pressure are the heating pad you know things like that so if someone's like oh man i had a really hard day my back is sore my neck is sore we can get out the uh, shiatsu neck back massager and give it a let them give it a try so like i said random thing for everyday tactical vids but i thought yeah let's give it a shot and uh yeah links down below if you want to purchase one of these i'll try to get us a discount code if i do that link will be down in the description section as well so uh, yeah, check it out. Let me know what your thoughts are and thanks for checking out the video. Take care.